Hello, welcome to the weather map introduction video. For this week's lab, you're going to be starting to look at a weather map um, that you're going to be revisiting in later weeks. Uh, so we're kind of taking the interpretation of this map step by step throughout each week. Um, so it will be important for you to uh, revisit the station model basics video if you are having a hard time remembering what data is shown where on those station models. Remember, all of this is given. So your first step um, uh, to uh, uh, this weather map is to decode the air pressure. So if you remember back in that video, when you are decoding your pressure, um, anything um, that starts with a 6, 7, 8, or 9, you add a 9 to the front, and then stick a decimal place in at the end. And if the three-digit value starts with anything else, you put a 10 in front. And again, you put that decimal point in. So for example, the first two here you see you have a pressure of 890 listed on your station model. You add a 9 to the front and then put a decimal place at the end. If you have something like a 023, you put a 10 in front and then put a decimal place in. And then here are the examples of going the opposite way, um, which hopefully you're already familiar with. So to show you what this weather map looks like here, so you should be looking at this map of part of the United States. You can see New York State over here, and then Nebraska, uh, Texas. So you see this map is pretty busy. It's a lot of information on it. Your first task is to go to each individual station and decode the pressure. So if I zoom in here a little bit on some of these stations, if we take a look here at this station right here that I'm circulating, circul circulating with my cursor, you see the pressure is 034. So what you want to do here is decode that. You're going to write as close as you can to that station uh, the new pressure uh, with the decoded value. So if it's 034, first digit is a 0, you put a 10 in front. So it would be 1003.4. And then you'll go through and do that for every single station that you see on this map. It's important to write that number as close as you can to the original because in later weeks you're going to be contouring the air pressure and making a pressure contour map of this area. And I'll have a video walking you through that process a little bit later. So it's very important for you to do this step first. Uh, get it checked by me to make sure you have your decoding correctly so that your contouring will go correctly later. As usual, if you have questions, please email me. Um, before I get to that, however, just to walk you through the next steps, once you've decoded your pressure, uh, like I said before, you're going to be drawing isobars, lines of equal pressure on your map. And then in later weeks, you're going to be giving a ser series of three maps, contouring done for you, uh, but the similar area, similar information. And then you're going to be interpreting what the weather system uh, is showing on this map and, and recording what is happening in the country during these few days. And these will be will include reading station models and identifying fronts and air pressure centers. But that's for the later weeks in the term. Again, if you have questions, please let me know.